Former President Donald Trump, the first former president in U.S. history to face criminal charges. Thank you for making a circus out of this and giving Donald Trump all this attention again. This is a crazy world that we're living in. The former U.S. president, Donald Trump, has always been in the news for one controversy or the other. You name it, from sexual assaults to defamation to racial discrimination and even beauty pageant scandals. Like I said, anything you can think of, the man has done it. But being the president of the U.S., Trump was under some protection that prevented these controversies from getting him locked up. Well, turns out, he doesn't have as much power now that he's no longer president. And with his recent arrest, rappers have had a lot to say about him. So keep watching till the end of this video to see rappers react to Donald Trump getting arrested. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Donald Trump indicted by the Manhattan Grand Jury. Donald John Trump, 45th U.S. president, has once again been caught up amid another controversy after being indicted by the Manhattan Grand Jury. The rumors of his arrest have been ongoing for weeks since March 2023, but until he was officially charged, people believed that the former POTUS was indeed getting some legal heat. Donald Trump was charged for his alleged role in concealing a hush money payment before the 2016 presidential election and the creation of fraudulent documents as a means to cover up those payments, making him the first former president of the United States to ever be indicted. Although falsifying records is usually treated as a lesser misdemeanor, Donald Trump is accused of committing felony offenses. According to the official court documents released on April 5, 2023, Donald Trump was charged with 34 felony accounts of falsification of business records. After hearing testimony from several witnesses, the grand jury in New York City, which has been meeting since January, charged Trump. The exact prosecution Trump is facing is in relation to a $130,000 payment made to porn star Stormy Daniels in the final few weeks of the 2016 presidential campaign. According to reports, the $130,000 hush money payment was made by lawyer Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's attorney, to prevent her from talking about her allegations that she had an affair with Donald Trump in 2007. Donald Trump's longtime personal attorney and fixer, Michael Cohen, had confirmed that the payments to Daniels and a second woman, former Playboy model Karen McDougal, were planned with Trump. The former president had denied the affair and any misconduct. He claims that the payment was made to protect his reputation from a baseless charge. Donald Trump reacts to his indictment. Although the news of Trump's arrest has been roaring its head around the media for weeks, it didn't happen until April 4th, 2023. Trump must have known his arrest was coming, but with his status, he didn't think the Manhattan District Attorney, Alvin Bragg, was going to follow through with the indictment. It must have been a shock for the former POTUS when he was led into detention. He, however, didn't take it well. While he denied his involvement in the charges against him, Trump also criticized Alvin Bragg and other Democrats after his arrest. In a statement given by the former president, he says, Never before in our nation's history has this been done. I mean, he's surely going to go down in history as the first U.S. president to get arrested and charged with several felonies after his tenure. He further said in his statement that his arrest was just a means for the Democrats to tear him down, simply because they did not like him. The Democrats have cheated countless times over the decades, including spying on my campaign, but weaponizing our justice system to punish a political who just so happens to be a president of the United States and by far the leading Republican candidate for president has never happened before, ever, he continued. And while calling the Democrats out, Trump didn't fail to mention his rival Joe Biden in his statement. He said, I believe this witch hunt will backfire massively on Joe Biden. Of course, a statement from Donald Trump isn't finished if he doesn't say, we're going to throw every last one of these crooked Democrats out of office so we can make America great again. Former President Donald Trump and other Republicans have termed this indictment a fraudulent prosecution, as they accused Alvin Bragg of weaponizing the criminal justice system. He also speaks about how Alvin Bragg does nothing but President Joe Biden's dirty work. He says, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, who was handpicked and funded by George Soros, is a disgrace. 
Rather than stopping the unprecedented crime wave being over New York City, he's doing Joe Biden's dirty work, ignoring the murders and burglaries and assaults he should be focused on. This is how Bragg spends his time. In his statement, the former president left no one untouched, as he reminded everyone of their place and what exactly they should be doing, instead of trying to get him arrested by all means. The news of his indictment has got everyone talking, and a lot of people, including rappers and celebrities, have had one or two to say about the whole Trump situation. Rappers and celebrities react to Donald Trump's indictment. One would think the news about the indictment and arrest of Donald Trump would cause big issues as his supporters may want to protest against his indictment. But surprisingly, Trump's arrest didn't seem to upset a whole lot of people, even some of his supporters. Immediately after the news of Trump's arrest went viral, many people were quick to fill social media with what they felt about the news of Donald Trump being indicted. Rapper Meek Mill had a totally shocking reaction to Donald Trump's arrest. I bet you didn't know this, but Meek Mill's lawyer, Joe Tacopina, is the same person representing Donald Trump in his indictment. Meek Mill took to his Instagram to make a post about this little plot twist in Trump's case, sharing photos of Donald Trump with his legal team, including Tacopina. He wrote in his caption, Trump graduated from the streets, sharing criminal lawyers with us, Joe Tactical. The 50-year-old actress Alyssa Milano said, Although accountability is vitally important and no one is above the law, this is really a sad day for the United States of America. Hashtag Trump indictment. Just like Donald Trump didn't take the news about his indictment, his son Donald Trump Jr. didn't take the news well either, as he quickly posted a video response where he said that, Let's be clear, folks, Trump's son told the viewers. This is like communist level This is stuff that would make Mao, Stalin, and Pol Pot, it would make them blush. It's so flagrant, it's so crazed. When even like the radical leftists of the Washington Post are out there saying, it's not really based on fact, it's not really based on the law, it's not really based in reality, but it's 100% based on politics. When your enemies are saying that, it's got to tell you everything you need to know about where we are as a country. Other members of Trump's family didn't hesitate to give their two cents regarding his indictment. Trump's former son-in-law, Jared Kushner, said, As Americans, it's very troubling to me to see the leader of the opposition party be indicted, he said. And I think that shows, obviously, the fear that the Democrats have of Trump and the political strength that he has. Trump's daughter, Ivanka Trump, who had earlier declared her non-involvement, ended up posting about her father's indictment 12 hours later. I love my father and I love my country. Today I am pained for both. I appreciate the voices across the political spectrum expressing support and concern. His other daughter, Tiffany Trump, has not uttered a word about the whole situation. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.